Hey everybody, it's Paige Evans and I cannot wait to show you my new collection with American Crafts. This is my 13th signature collection. It's called Splendid and there are 45 different products, new things, bright colors, pattern papers. So speaking of pattern papers, let's go through all of the papers in this collection first. As in my previous collections, there are 24 double-sided pattern papers. Each side has a different pattern, so there are 48 designs in total. Paper one has a beautiful floral. It's an overall kind of vibe for the collection, very springy. And we have a lot of really great B-sides. So this is black with colorful polka dots, a fun craft doily, with an ombre pink and it's got a fun texture on it. It's kind of like a fabric and you'll see that fabric texture repeated throughout the collection. Colorful butterflies, great for fussy cutting. This is paper three and on the back side check out these rainbow stripes. These just make my heart happy. I love these colors. Another floral in warm tones, paper four, and a b-side of a purple floral. Lots of great solids and subtle patterns. A stitching design, I would love to hand stitch this entire paper. And a yellow background, and it also has a fabric texture. These squares with different flowers, so many ideas for this paper. Making a mini album particularly comes to mind. And then on the back side, these squares of different solids. I've used this paper a few times already, and I'll show you some of the projects I've made with Splendid at the end. Oh, there's Amy. <laughs> I thought that they were gonna stay asleep on their blanket for this. Okay, I'm back. I opened up a window in my husband's office and now they are happy campers. Okay, so I love all the different solids in this paper, perfect for punching backing cut files, getting that overall rainbow and sense of this entire collection. A beautiful flor floral wreath. Again, this is one of those papers that is so easy to turn into a layout. You can add a few more flowers on top, add your photo, title, and journaling, and call it good. We've got a green pattern on the backside, kind of like a trellis design, some diamonds with florals a fuchsia background, great b-side, got some fruits and leaves and very summery. So you can also use this for summer scrapping, not just limited to spring, an orange subtle floral pattern, a blue floral, lots of florals in this line, which makes me so happy, and then a lime green, and it has that fabric texture that is throughout the collection. We've got a rainbow, a light orange, and a dark blue floral b-side, little clusters of florals with tiny light blue polka dots. Really cute and subtle. And then a pink checkerboard plaid. Reminds me of a picnic. A black and white floral. This is my friend Joka's favorite paper, so I challenge her to use it. <laughs> and then rainbow stripes. This is another one of those patterns that I've already used a whole bunch because you've got the solid rainbow colors that you can use for backing and punching. And I do have a layout that I'll show you at the end where I punched two of this paper with a scalloped border punch. Here's a paper great for fussy cutting, so you can have a title. And then this turquoise, what would you call these? Like peacocks, <laughs> peacock design. Kind of like a napkin. This is also a paper that I would love to try embroidering and hand stitching with an orange b-side. I've used this paper for a background already. It's the zigzags in the this colorway with green, blue, yellow, orange, I love it. And then this denim blue background. Perfect background for layouts. Clusters of pretty florals, I can never have enough florals. And orange polka dots, this is a great 
solid background paper. A lined paper, kitty hair, <laughs> um, a lined paper and it's got a little typewriter that says the story so you can cut this up and use it as journaling spots or maybe you have one photo and you want to fill the entire background with journaling. Lots of ideas for this one. And an orange floral b-side. Have to have this paper in every collection, so it's 36, one, two, three, four, five, 36 different squares of patterns that I always use for punching, again, backing cut files, the work. So you get almost every paper in the collection shrunk down to two inches. And the back is a green, a green with a subtle pattern, always makes for great backgrounds. Here's a super springy paper, flowers and birds and butterflies and bees with a turquoise floral b-side. Paper 21 is stripes of all kinds of fun patterns, so you could do some paper weaving and borders and the back is an ombre yellow, it's got kind of a stitched pattern on it. And then tags. I love using these tags for the foundation of a tag flip through mini album. And what I particularly love is they are double sided. So you've got eight tags on the front, eight tags on the back. And if you cut them out, they perfectly align back to back. Can't wait to make a mini album out of that one. And then we've got a couple cut apart pages. So these are great for pocket page scrapping. These are four by six and we've got a pretty pink solid floral on the back and another cut apart paper good for project life pocket scrapping so you can cut all of these up maybe you want to turn them into a mini album punch a hole through the corners and slide them onto a binder ring and the back side is this lime green with a fun texture the Specialty paper in Splendid. This is probably my favorite specialty paper we've ever done. It's a floral with this gold foiling. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty and I've already used it in a couple of my projects and plan to use it in upcoming mini albums for classes that I'm teaching. Let's move on to the paper pads. As in my past few previous collections, there's a 12 by 12 paper pad, a six by eight paper pad, and two by two swatch books. The great thing that I love about the 12 by 12 paper pads lately is it includes all 48 designs. So all the papers that I just showed you, you get in this paper pad. So they're single sided, there's pros and cons to that. So the whole paper pad will be cheaper than buying the papers individually, but they are a little bit thinner and uh, not double-sided, but the colors and the quality are still top-notch. So if you don't wanna buy all 24 double-sided pattern papers, you can get the 12 by 12 paper pad and you'll have all 48 designs. So I love that. Used to have repeats and then I requested that we make this change and I am a happy camper. In the six by eight paper pad, there are 36 sheets and some of them have gold foiling details so we can flip through. We've got this yellow uh, chevron design with the gold foiling, orange, rain the rainbow stripes. So these are the same patterns as the 12 by 12 papers, just shrunk down slightly so you get more pattern per square inch and then every few, every three or four, fourth, every third or fourth paper has the gold foiling details, very shiny. And there are repeats in this paper pad. So I believe that there are 18 patterns times two. I could be wrong though, actually. Now that I'm flipping through it, maybe that's a change. I don't, are there any repeats? I think they're all different and that would be awesome because I like having all different papers, yay. So I take back what I said, all 36 papers are different and that is an awesome change, woohoo. So now we'll bring in the two by two paper pads and I'll zoom in a little closer so we can see them better. So there is one with patterns and one with phrases and these ones do have repeats so we'll flip through so we can see them up close. These are perfect for four by four mini albums that have the two by two pockets or 
the six by eight pocket page protectors. I use those in my December daily when I do a traditional style or I even, did I include it in my last year's album? It's all a blur right now. <laughs> so look, little journaling spots, great sentiments. You can stick these in your loved ones, lunches, cute little notes of encouragement, and then they do repeat. This is the last one, last one, and then it repeats. And then for the pattern swatches, so these are 18 patterns times two. It's the full-sized papers shrunk down, although this one isn't a full size. So it's fun that you get different patterns in the different paper pads. Great for punching. These used to be thicker, so you couldn't really punch through them without breaking your punch. But now that the papers are a little more thin, you absolutely can use your punches. Wonderful, wonderful, almost to the repeat, I believe. There we go, and then it repeats. So there are 72 pieces of two inch square patterns and phrases. Let's move on to the die cuts. For my past several collections, we've done two types of die cuts, one with icons and ephemera and journaling spots and sentiments, and then one entire package dedicated to flowers and leaves. Woohoo! So let's look through the ephemera die cuts first. There are 40 pieces and we can just flip through them so you can see every single piece that comes in this set and yep you're gonna get a wide variety of phrases sentiments shapes journaling spots tags hearts and some of them have gold foiling details same gold foiling that appears throughout the collection like on the transparency paper and in the six by eight paper pad make sure we're getting everything in the frame so another Larger journaling spot, very springy, very summery. I always need a spot to add my journaling, so it's great that the collection comes with them. And then tags for slipping into pockets. Now these pockets are really cool, these envelopes. So if you add adhesive just along the side and the bottom, and then it's already has these slits, so you can tuck embellishments and ephemera and some of these die cuts into the pocket. Craft tag, cute little paper clips, colorful banner, create, cute postcard with gold foiling. And here's another pocket where if you just put it on the sides, adhesive on the sides, turns it into a pocket. Some colorful labels in all the colors that you'll, they aren't perforated, so you just have to trim them out. Yellow library card. And those are the last two. And we can flip through the flowers. Ooh, I love all these flowers. I think I've used three packs of these already. <laughs> can never have enough flowers. So it ranges from, what, that's about three quarters of an inch, maybe half an inch. And you get flowers in all the colors. Some are solid and some have outlines, so it just depends on the look that you're going for. Just spread these out. And there are 50 pieces in this set. So you get flowers and leaves, solid, solid leaves, leaf sprigs, and I love bending the edges of the flowers to give them depth and dimension before adding them onto my projects. Build some, so yes, spring, bring on the flowers in all the colors. There we go. Those are the flowers, the flower die cuts. Now let's bring in all the stickers. There are six different types of sticky things in Splendid. We'll start with the 12 by 12 chipboard stickers. 
so here we go. Here's an overall look at the chipboard stickers and very springy, colorful from borders and rulers to hearts, butterflies, flowers, sentiments. And what I love is all the teeny tiny pieces in between because I can always find a spot to put the itty bitty embellishments. Throwing it back to my whimsical collection and pick-me-up collection when we had the mini thickers. So these thickers are foam and they come in a rainbow of color and I love how teeny tiny they are. So we've got gold and we also have the rainbow of thickers. There is another package of thickers in the form of epoxy stickers. So there's two two sides. Let me flip that over for you. There we go. So we've got colorful sentiments, pattern sentiments in different styles from banners to individual letters to phrases that are all together. And then some of the embellishments and some of the words and the hearts are gold foiled. So we got that sparkle going on throughout the entire collection. There is a skew of bouquet stickers. So these are cute little bouquets. They are layered and got topped with a little bow. So it's like you went to the farmer's market and came home with a fresh bouquet of flowers. We've also got six by 12 cardstock stickers. So again, some of them have the gold foiling details. More of the same springy floral goodness. Bring it up a little closer so you can see. Look at these teeny tiny raspberries. So cute. I need to go to a raspberry and strawberry farm and pick some berries just to use with this collection. Another skew of stickers is the eight page sticker book. So it's got 221 stickers. I'll lay them out for you. Three pages are transparency stickers and some of them have gold foiling. And then there are, uh, the rest are cardstock stickers. Some have the gold foiling details. So you get a nice range of use. You can see we've got from labels and empty pennants and banners to sentiments and then all of the fun icons and imagery that you'll see throughout Splendid. Uh, I'm not sure if washi tape is considered a sticker, but it's sticky, so it kind of is. So this is a seventh sticker, if you will. Let me bring it up close. So it doesn't come on a tag like this. It comes in the acrylic box. But what I like to do to save space is to wrap all of my washi tapes around a manila tag. So it's got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight patterns. The yellow one is scalloped. The pink, love this. The love this part is gold foil and then really cute florals and uh, like geometric tile designs to finish it up. Let's bring in the stamps. With Splendid, we have a new acrylic stamp set that's got 10 stamps. Handmade is a perfect stamp for all of your handmade cards and creations. A few other sentiments, the florals, the butterflies, a heart, a pretty doily. I'm not a huge stamper myself, but I always love a good challenge to use the stamp sets in my collection. Now this roller date stamp, I was super excited when they agreed to it because most of my roller date stamps, they ended in 2020. But now with this new roller date stamp, it goes all the way up to, I'm um, 29, it goes up to 2031. So you'll be able to use this for almost a decade and then the last one actually says 20 blank. So you can write in the date and be able to use this stamp forever. And then it has sentiments, the days of the week. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you can specifically document the day. 
and a few other sentiments. There's an arrow and I'm super excited for this roller date stamp so I can continue dating my layouts. When I put my layouts away, I put them away chronologically. And so having the date stamped somewhere on my layouts makes that a lot easier. Let's bring in some fun embellishments. With every collection, I love to create a coordinating Coptic book and create Coptic book binding kits. I haven't done that yet, it's on my to-do list, but I always love having a wide variety of embellishments that I can add onto the binding. So, we've got heart-shaped paper clips, and you get 12 of them, so two sets and two of each color from the fuchsia to the light pink, orange, kind of an in-between orange and yellow, yellow and turquoise. Same thing with the buttons. So you don't just get one sheet of the eight buttons, you get two sheets of the same eight buttons. So 16 buttons in total, eight different designs. I love buttons so much and I'm so glad that they let me add these into this collection because buttons are just pure eye candy. Of course, charms. I love charms. I love that I've been able to have them in so many different collections. These ones are flower shaped and they're a good inch, inch and a quarter across and perfect for creating your own tassels and charms for mini albums and of course tying onto the binding of Coptic books. Enamel dots in a few different shapes. So there's dots, squares, and hearts and then a package of floral sequins, three or four different sizes, four different colors. Top the projects with sequins. The last things I'm going to show you are two new SKUs of products. So this is a product I've never had in any of my collections before. It is cards and envelopes and the envelopes are really dainty and detailed and they come with solid cards inside and I have lots of different ideas for them. Just need to sit down and actually get the ideas out. So it comes with three of the turquoise cards three of the magenta fuchsia pink cards, and three of the lime green cards. All the same pattern of envelope, just really beautiful, really delicate and dainty. The last product is one I am so excited about. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love hand stitching. So now we have a cross stitch kit, comes with one, two, three, four, five, seven colors of thread that perfectly coordinate with Splendid, comes with a needle, and then we've got all kinds of die cuts that we can cross stitch through. So love you, a few different butterflies, a few flowers, and a heart, and a couple frames. So I'm very excited for this cross stitch kit. I love hand stitching and I'm so happy that I finally have a skew, a product focused on stitching. I wanna finish up this walkthrough of Splendid by showing you some layouts and mini albums that I've already made with this collection. So this layout, everything uses Splendid except for this acrylic piece, which is from my friend Jessica with a color cast designs. Color cast designs, excuse me. And the cut file was for my 12 days of love cut files. I love using big titles on my pages. And then we've got a large love you heart with all the florals and the sequins. You can see them shining. Same cut file, just shrunk down. And then I did tone on tone embellishing. And then a love you wreath repeated in a circle. So this is one of those instances where I used the solid stripes of paper and that paper that has all of the squares of different patterns to back the cut file. And then two layouts that I made for Fox with my 30 days of boy cut files. So I popped the patterns up off the cut file, kept it in this, this colorway, and then embellished with all of the same colored embellishments I could find. And then another layout for Fox, all the pennants in the same colors as the background paper. And I've also made two mini albums. 
I know I have a flip through of this one on YouTube. This was made for the spring 2022 issue of Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. And it was just so fun to use all the flowery things. Here's a string art page so you can utilize those sequins. And again, just flowers, flowers galore. And then this love mini album is also part of my 12 Days of Love cut files. It includes lots of hand stitching and layered elements. And of course, the flower charms. I used all six flower charms on both mini albums that I've made with Splendid so far. They're my favorite. I almost forgot to show you this last layout that I made. Remember with that rainbow stripes paper? So I used a scalloped border punch, punched two full sheets of that, and then trimmed them to different widths to create this very textured, colorful, springy layout with Splendid. I hope that after seeing all of these projects and products of my new Splendid collection, you are inspired to pick it up and get creating. I will leave my affiliate link to scrapbook.com so you can pick it up and be sure to tag me if you create things with it and share it on social media. I always love seeing what you make with my collections. Let me know if you have any questions and I will get back to you soon. Thank you so much and have a great day.